Hello, I'm Wet Hamster, and um, we're back again. And I'm wearing good old cuckoo armor, but I'm going to use a bow. Why I'm wearing cuckoo armor is just because, again, I'm cheap on ranged armor, and really there's nothing for the bow that's too good. There's, there's a couple of things, but I don't want to grind spring night carps, or uh, I don't want to grind more lobster shells. So uh, let's take a look at that bow there. Prominent bow. Prominence bow. Fire attack and pretty decent attack power for a bow. And um, what I could do is it has rapid. Scatter shot. A scatter shot is a vertical. A rapid shot is horizontal. Of how it spreads the shots. And piercing is it pierces straight through and does up to a certain amount of multiple hits as long as there's a monster left to go through. Um, power coating! Yes, I can actually use power coating this time around. I, so, yeah. Now, um, oh, and something uh, I was talking to, I, again, I think... Oh, I can't remember who it was I was talking to. But, yeah, food buffs, you know, the attack power, food buffs and stuff, apparently it does uh, stack with ranged weaponry. So, go figure. So, uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna fight? What are we gonna hunt? Uh, let's, uh, let's go for this guy. That should be fun, right? So, uh, let's take a look at the quest info a little bit better. So, it's a red Kezu, another, uh, subbreed. This time, this, this subbreed's a little bit more interesting, mainly just because it actually has some new attacks. Now that we've taken a quick look at the info there, we're gonna clear the swamp for this guy who wants to EXPLORE THE SWAMP! Now, what I was talking about, that there's not that great armor sets, well, that's mainly because they first come after, like, Elder Dragons. Which is... Yeah, takes a while. The, the good ones, the really good ones for... The bow and arrow is things that will give you an extra charge, so you have four charges instead of the three different charges, and one that does it so you, you charge your bow even faster. More charges equals more damage, but it, depending on the bow, it, sometimes the, the final charge is not worth it, or the shot type, rather, I should say. Let's see, let's see, let's see, hot drinks, there we go. Uh, but innovation's not bad things to get. The best I could probably do early game is attack power. Which is, it's okay. Uh, uh, admittedly, it's not too great. And then there is... What else is there? There's mix rate, because then you can mix your own coatings and ammo and whatnot for ranged weaponry on the field. Then there is another one. A hunger, I believe it's called, which means you spend less stamina. And by spend less stamina, of course, I mean, uh... I mean, uh, what's it called? Um, your stamina will go down slower. Okay. That's what I was trying to say. So that's really the only half decent things. Bring out the Kongas before Kezu gets here. Oh, and speaking of Kezu, you all know what uh, uh, Kezu means, right? Kezu means I will be <laughs> choosing my own uh, little uh, flavor of battle music. Speaking of the red Kezu, where is he? Usually he's by s around 7 by now. Well, you know what? While I'm waiting for him, I'll clear the Congos one more time. 
because I know this will be basically the main room I'll be fighting in, and I don't want to be accosted by congas while I'm fighting this jerk. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, the melee swings aren't horrible. At least against melee monsters. And he's in four for some reason. Ah! How much do you want to bet by the time I get to four? Could be somewhere else. Ah, oh, best of laid plans. So, the red Kezu, like I stated earlier, has some new attacks. Pretty much the same as a regular Kezu, only it's red. And it has more vicious attacks. Most of them you'll only see while you're in the cave. At least one of them. Hopefully I can goad him into doing one of his frontal attacks. Uh, yeah, Kezu's moving on. Oh, Kezu. <sighs> Is there a hot weather balloon somewhere? Nope. Just gonna have to find them on my own, I guess. Hey, yeah. If, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching, <laughs> sorry about this. Also, um, skip ahead to when I actually find. Never mind, I found him. I was gonna say, skip ahead to when I actually find him. But you don't have to do any skipping. Let's see. Apply the coating. Bam. And. Apply ass kicking. Again, with pierce shots, you want to try and aim it so the shot will go straight in as long as the angle you can. So, preferably in front or from behind. There's even like a uh, armor set bonus that lets make sure your stamina decrease slower while you're charging. Totally sure. I think I read something like that. I don't. Then again, you know, I'm not too sure. This is a horrible. It's pure shot. Ah! Too greedy with damage. Should have just rolled out like that. <laughs> Also, something that uh, is unique. I mean, with bows, there's like a uh, thank you, but a range where you do maximum damage. Uh, with pure shot, it's one, two, three. So that would be max damage for pure shot. Three to four hops. That's how you calculate. It. So once you know about the distance, and he's off. Hmm. I found one problem with my uh of what I uh, did here. Forgot to paintball. It's starting to become a theme. Yeah, these guys again. I thought I cleared that out. Also, if you have a coating on and you're just slashing with the arrow, arrow won't lose its coating. And you will actually apply, like, say, poison damage. So that can be useful for taking out normal enemies. Hmm. Kazu didn't go here. Or he's just being retardedly slow. So he probably went to eight. <sighs> He's in eight, isn't he? Where is he? 
Kazu! <laughs> so I've actually been doing some pretty decent damage on Kazu. I've been trying to stay in like about at least estimating where the optimal range is. Or he's back and forth. I don't know where the optimal range is versus you know, how fast I can shoot him and trying to shoot him at the right angle. Yeah. Again, the bow is a very technical weapon. I kind of like it, but at the same time, it, if you're trying to like go for a specific break, a lot of them could be really hard to get. Like, people may not know, but I... Oh, there he is. Hello, Kezu. People may not know it, but... Uh, I actually tried to do a uh, Shogun Senator fight with Bo here. But you see, didn't go too well, because I was trying to go for claw breaks. Had to scrap all those videos. Ah, there we go. Hey, Kezu. We can hang out, can't we? Yeah, we can hang out. So, uh, let's take a look at some of his more unique attacks. If we can goad him into doing it. Now that he's in a cave. Oh, run. <laughs> I cheated death again. ceiling and occasionally when he clings to the ceiling he will drop a shiny and he will basically be trying to lure you into picking up the shiny and if you do pick up the shiny he's uh he's gonna get you but then oh no I was gonna try to shoot him off the ceiling it's basically one of the only useful uses for bounce bombs. If the monsters cling to the ceiling, then you can use a bounce bomb and you can actually clean them not. Or if they're flying in the air. Oh, perfect thing. Thank you, kitty. Sometimes they're useful for something. Cats. No. Well, we'll use the rest of the power coatings here. has one more attack he can do, but not me. not really doing it. I thought it took a cold drink. Oh, oh. No, I didn't want it. Oh, oh, I need to get up to some of this action. How about a little poison? As you enjoy. Poison. Hmm. Since we're out of coatings, here's what I can do mid-combat. Bottle. 
ton of nitro shrooms. What I'm doing here is incredibly risky because I'm not looking at them while I'm uh, making some coatings. And uh, speaking of which, I forgot to paintball him again. There we go. And he roars the second I try to take my bow out. <laughs> And there's the attack where he usually just puts a shiny. There, put a shiny, trying to lure you to go in and under. But I'm too smart for that. In fact, I'm kind of waiting for him to get down or move. <laughs> Not too bad. Again, even if I get hit by that attack. Again, I thought I, uh... Could have sworn... Yeah, I did take a cool drink, but... Oh, wait, I took a cool drink. Durr, yeah. <laughs> too busy talking. Not too busy thinking. Well, once Kezo flees. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, I can capture him. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna wait. He's gonna flee. Oh, Mr. Kezu. Well, I did get to show off. Didn't I? Couldn't really get him to show off one of his attacks, but he really, he has attacks where he whips his neck around. If you stand in front of him, and well, uh, General been standing in front of him quite a bit. Uh, I believe he sleeps in two, so we're actually just gonna let him escape. Oh, and just because I want to show it off, rare stakes are complete junk. You get a rare stake, you do the animation there, and you, they're just as good as rations. Only you take a longer time eating. I, I wouldn't really rely on the rare stakes, I just brought them along because I had to use them. So we're gonna give Kezu a moment. He's starting to move. No, 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 cat. Cat. No, no, down. There we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's not always he listens to you when you try to go on the floor and sneak about. And captured. Red Kezu is mine. And, uh... There we go. All mine. Did a quite a decent job. Only thing I'm a little sad about is that I didn't really get to show off a couple of his attacks. Didn't get any breaks though. If I wanted to get some breaks, I should have probably stuck with uh, scatter shot and only gone for the head. Not the head. Well, yeah. No, then it'd be vertical shot and the head and scatter shot and the back from the side. Uh, something like that. With the bow, it's actually fairly easy to get drinks, at least in, from my experience. So if you're looking for those pale bones, um, I can I can recommend a bow. Plus, uh, isn't he weak towards fire? So this is actually a pretty good choice of a bow when you think about it. Oh well, look at him. Oh poor kids. Gotta be put in an arena. Fight to the death. I almost feel sorry for him. But I don't, because he did show all his attacks off. <laughs> oh, so. I uh, get a few alluring hides, some pale extracts. Pale extracts are wonderful. Some large monster bones, the usual. But. 
for now, that will be that, and I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you another time.